Welcome back to California Cooking. Coming up on today's show, there's a new cooking competition show on Netflix, and it's all about making amazing dishes out of leftovers. I'm talking to the host, Jackie Tone. Then Levi and I are transforming our leftovers into something tasty. Plus, I'm cooking up a hearty homemade chicken tortilla soup. And finally, from sushi to tacos to fresh pasta made in Italy, I'm featuring some local restaurants who are offering delicious family meals to go. A cooking competition on Netflix is challenging its contestants to create culinary masterpieces all out of leftovers. I caught up with actress Jackie Tone, who admits her love of leftovers makes her the perfect host. This is That Leftovers Show. Jackie! Hi. Hi! The fact that when, okay, everyone knows you from Glow, you're an actress, and then I see you on a cooking show, and I was like, I didn't know Jackie cooked, but you don't. And then you watched the show, and you were like, <laughs> oh, 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 she doesn't, she doesn't. So the show is Best Leftovers Ever on Netflix, and I would not claim to be one of the professional chefs we have a world-renowned chef and cookbook author named Rosemary Schrager. And we have this, as we call him, a culinary influencer and restaurateur named David So. So they give more of the, you know, real cooking critiques, where I'm more the layman who eats food and tells you- The truth. How food tastes. Exactly. Well, <laughs> I, cannot, I can't not tell you the truth. That's definitely something about me. So yeah, it's, it's really fun. It's like, I would say it's like, Chopped meets Pee Wee's Playhouse. Wow, I like the combo. The crux of the show is that our varying degrees of professional chefs, so some are home cooks, but we always keep them even. So there'll be like three home cooks on one episode or the next one will be like, you know, three people that own a restaurant. So it's, it's pretty fair. Uh, the crux of the show is we have two rounds and the chefs in round one, they have to take leftovers from the fridges behind them and completely transform them. For round two, we say, my fridge comes out, which is kind of like a character on the show. My fridge comes out and um, I got takeout from somewhere. So let's say it's three different Mexican takeout leftovers and they each randomly select one. And then they need to turn the takeout leftovers into high-end cuisine for round oh my two. my gosh. Other than it being so out of this world, a wild show. I mean, when we have the contestants waiting to find out who won, they just stand in a massive Chinese food, a human-sized Chinese food container. That's where we make them wait <laughs> while we deliver. It's I love that. Rude. It's great. Yeah. And has this upped your game in the kitchen? Oh, beyond belief. Beyond belief. Um, Rosemary, David, and I the other day did a Facebook Live cook-along, and I made these incredible, out of leftovers, these like British potato cake scones. Mm. And I had like leftover baked potato and you mash it and then you throw in a little bit of flour, a little bit of, I mean, couldn't have been easier, a little bit of salt. You make the dough, you roll it out. I didn't have a rolling pin. I used a soda stream CO2 canister. You, you girl, resourceful. Um, rolled it out and then you throw them in the pan and you make these little like leftover. Oh, and I crumbled in impossible sausage. Ooh, nice. And then so you made these little like yeah. meat, flour, potato cakes, and then you did scrambled eggs on top. You're like you a mad them. scientist. Rosemary's turned me into a mad scientist. Wow. What's important, I think a big part of the show too is um, we focus on reducing waste. Exactly. And nothing makes me happier than I, when I can open the fridge and come up with some things to get rid of like food that's about to go bad. Nothing 100%. makes me happier. Yeah, yeah, I'm the exact same. Thank you so much. I Thank love you for having me. I always love you because you're just so like bubbling over with energy. Oh my goodness. Even when you talk about leftovers. Try being me alone in my house <laughs> bubbling over with that energy. I'm like, is there anybody to talk to? I'm gonna go see if the gardener wants a LaCroix. Take care, have a good one. So good to see you. Thanks for having me. Bye. Best leftovers ever on Netflix. Jackie is the best. She's so much fun. And you know what? She got me thinking, what's in my fridge? So Levi and I headed into the kitchen and created something crispy and delicious with leftover chicken and rice. Hi, Levi. How you doing? Good. Good. 
Do you know what we're gonna make today? What? Taquitos. Do you know what a taquito is? Make little ta tacos. Yeah, like they're rolled and they're crispy. Can you fry them? Wait, when I was talking to you um, fry it. You fry it. When I was talking to Jackie today, I don't know if you know Jackie, but she does this show. <laughs> I know Jackie. Exactly, and she does this show where you take leftovers and you make a new dish out of it. So we had this for dinner the, last night. We had chicken and rice and beans. And I thought, let's take the leftovers, put them in a tortilla and make taquitos. I'm gonna give you this for the filling of our taquito. So first, Levi, what is, do you know what this is? What? Cream cheese. Cream cheese? Oh yeah, yum, yum, yum. softened cream cheese. So here's your spoon. You're gonna mix that together. To that, I've got my chicken breast here. And I'm just gonna chop it into little, little pieces. Have you had a taquito before? Yep. Chicken in. Whoop. To that, let's do some rice. Beans. Stir this up. And on my chicken breast, I just had some salt, pepper. I think I had smoked paprika on there, garlic. Then we've got some cheddar cheese. Let's stir it all together. And then we've got a mixture for our taquitos. So I've got my little corn tortillas here and I'm gonna put them in the microwave. They're corn tortillas. Yes. yes. And I'm just gonna get them soft before we roll them up. And while I do that, Levi, Skillet, we're gonna get some oil in our skillet so we can fry up our taquitos. Oh yeah, are we ready to roll up our taquitos? Now they're soft, so hopefully they won't break. So I'm gonna take some of our filling, I'm gonna put it in the middle. You don't want too much, because you wanna be able to roll it up. Then it's like, then you will see the inside. Yeah. And because it's like a hot dog. You roll it, roll it, and give it a little squish. Good? Oh, I didn't know it was warm. Is, there, is this ready? No, so then we're gonna stick it in the oil. And this is easy, it's just assembly line. And let's do another recipe, this one is boring. Uh. I think it's, I think it's ready. Skewer. I think toothpicks would be a good idea, but I can't find our toothpick. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna use a skewer just to hold it together when it goes in the oil. Okay, there. It's Again. opening up. Is it? A little bit. Uh, uh. There, okay, and it sort of worked. Just to get them in. Are they opening up? Ooh, we'll do one more, why not? Let's go crazy. I'm gonna cancel the cooking show for me. Why? Where are you going? I wanna play. You wanna play? Well, this is playing, isn't it? No. These are almost done. And then you've gotta taste. You've gotta be my taste tester. How am I gonna know if they're any good? Bye, bye, bye. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna drain these on a paper towel, then, We've got to top them with some good stuff. So you could use a crema, sour cream. I love to go with my labneh. Is like my sour cream alternative. And it's, you know, it tastes like, to me it tastes like sour cream, but it's just a little better for you. And I use it in everything. So on the bottom of this dish, I have just a little bit of chipotle and adobo, which is spicy, smoky, and so it kind of turns my sour cream or whatever I'm using into this smoky, spicy topping. And then I usually just hit it with a little lime juice too. So now I've got a sauce. And then let's do a little bit of guac. I have a half of an avocado. And you know once you use half the avocado, you have to use the rest immediately or it goes bad. Let's just get this in here. Rest of my lime. So this is just simple. It's not really a guac, but avocado, lime, salt. Pinch of salt in my avocado and lime. And now we're ready to plate it up. Can you get my mic off? Oh my gosh, he's, he's literally quitting on the job. 
Levi just quit on the air. That's all right, I'm gonna try my taquitos. He's missing out. Yum! Levi, these are so good. So crispy and the cream cheese created this kind of creaminess and the crunchy shell. This is my favorite leftovers. <laughs> Even though Levi was bored with my taquitos, I have to say they were so good. You gotta give them a try. Coming up, whether you're in the mood for sushi hand rolls, tacos, or fresh made pasta, I'm highlighting a few restaurants offering great family meals. But first, I'm cooking up a delicious homemade chicken tortilla soup, and I even make my own homemade chicken stock. That's coming up next. I love making homemade soup this time of year. And this tortilla soup, it is filled with all kinds of veggies and my homemade chicken stock, but it's the toppings, like the sour cream, the tortilla chips, and the avocado that makes this soup a winner. What I'm gonna make today for you guys, um, this time of year, I love a good soup, and I love soup for a few reasons, because I think soup is the best way to eat your vegetables. I mean, look at all the look at all the colors. I've got the peppers, I've got the carrots, I've got zucchini, butternut squash, tomatoes, so a lot of color happening. And I'm going to make kind of like a take on a chicken tortilla soup. I learned this um, I was on Pinterest one day and I saw a recipe for like a creamy chicken tortilla soup and I and it didn't have cream in it or dairy. And I thought, how'd they do that? And it's blending the ingredients. And I'll show you how I do that. But let me turn on our stove top back here, get some olive oil. And we'll add our onion. And let's cut up some pepper. And I also love soups like this because of the toppings. This is a sour cream, cheese, avocado, tortilla chip kind of a soup. Red pepper going in. I'm gonna do a whole red pepper, some salt. On to our other veggies, celery. That was probably two to three stalks of celery. Some pepper. I did hit it with some salt. And you wanna pretty much salt and season every layer because if you wait till it's all in there and then try to salt it, it's just harder to do. Carrots, I like to buy shredded carrots and throw them into everything. Now to zucchini and just cut it into small kind of bite-sized chunks. And always in the new year, you make that deal with yourself. You're gonna eat better, you're gonna eat more vegetables. So I'm trying a little bit more salt. And then you just let that go. You let it go to ev till everything gets nice and soft. I forgot two of my veggies. I bought already cubed butternut squash. And you could cube it yourself. It just takes a little time, but I'm gonna chop this into smaller pieces because this takes longer to cook. Add that to our soup pot. Also gonna add a little bit more olive oil. Two cloves of garlic, big fat cloves of garlic. Grate those in. And to that, smoked paprika, I eyeball. I'm gonna do a tablespoon-ish. Cumin, same thing, chili powder. Not spicy, chili powder just has kind of a smoky chili taste. And I think we're good. Okay, now the veggies are soft and I'm gonna just take a couple of scoops out and reserve them for later. To this, a can of fire roasted tomatoes. This gives it the flavor, chopped tomatoes, but they're fire roasted so it gives that smoky, kind of flavor you're looking for. I have really been trying to make my own chicken stock lately, and this is it. It is so much better than boxed. And if you, I know I've used boxed for years, but basically you take a whole chicken, or chicken you ate the night before, you put it in a pot with water, bay leaf, parsley, peppercorn, salt, carrots, onions. You let it cook for four hours, and then you drain it, and you have gorgeous chicken stock. It's so good. Okay, chicken stock, 
going in. We'll start with probably just two cups. We're gonna let that cook. So my soup cooked until all the veggies were soft. And now, I wish I had the stick immersion blender. That would make this so much easier. I don't have one of those. So I'm gonna scoop it into my blender. And then I'm gonna blend all these veggies. Now this is where you have to be careful because hot liquid in a blender, you don't want it to explode. So we'll start slow. We'll crank it up. Okay, I'm gonna put it back in our pot. Continue to let it cook for a little bit on a medium heat just to thicken up a tad more. And then we're gonna add our ingredients and it's done. This is why I reserved some veggies because I'm gonna put those back in so then your soup isn't entirely smooth. But you have some chunky veggies in there. I have some pulled chicken from the chicken we had last night that also became stock. So I got a lot of use out of my roasted chicken. Can of drained and rinsed black beans. Frozen corn, quarter cup. And I have to tell you, every time I make this soup, Levi eats the whole thing and I'm always kind of in shock because he has no idea how many vegetables he's getting. So this is how I would serve it. A few ladles of the soup, some cheese, some shredded cheese, a few pieces of avocado, some cilantro, sour cream, or I like to use yogurt, labni is my favorite, squirt of lime, tortilla chips going in, and voila. Veggie chicken tortilla soup. That soup was so good, especially on a chilly day like today. And I'm telling you, the homemade chicken stock makes all the difference. For the complete recipe, you can check us out on Instagram at KTLA California Cooking. Coming up, whether you're craving Japanese, Mexican, or Italian, I'm highlighting local restaurants offering great family meals delivered right to your door. That's coming up next. to do our part to support our local restaurants right now and this is the perfect way to do it here are three restaurants that are offering creative and delicious meals that will feed the whole family a lot of restaurants all over LA are featuring these really cool take-home family kits and there's so many different ones, I wanted to share a few of them with you today. And if you're a fan of sushi, you probably already know about Kazunori. And they just sent the coolest hand roll kit to my front door. Each kit comes with everything you need to make 20 hand rolls, including four different fillings, toro, crab, yellowtail, and salmon. It also includes Nozawa's signature warm rice and all the fixins. So I'm gonna try my hand at making some sushi, some hand rolls. Okay, first, the rice and they give you this really cute little instruction book on how to do it but it's pretty self-explanatory rice goes down I think I'm gonna try some crab that's usually a go-to hand roll for me this will be so fun to do with the family too how about some sesame seeds on top and maybe a little wasabi and then you roll Look at that. Give it a try. Mm. Next up, if you're in the mood for Mexican food, Loki is known for their handmade tortillas. And look at this spread, incredible. They just started offering these taco kits that are the perfect family meal. Four to six people, it would easily feed. It comes with your choice of chicken, beef, pork, or mushrooms, and also all of the toppings that you put on your tacos, including rice and beans and guacamole. I'm gonna make a taco. Which one should I try? I don't even, oh, I think the beef. That beef looks so amazing. Look at how tender, oh my gosh. This is gonna kick up uh, your Taco Tuesdays, for sure. Okay, pickled onions, some guac, and, ooh, a little bit of spicy salsa. All right, here it goes. Mmm. Oh my gosh.
gosh, that is one good taco. And finally, if you're craving authentic Italian food, Wovo is the place to go. The pasta is prepared fresh daily and flown in from Bologna, Italy. Their pasta kits include everything you need to cook up dinner for a family of four. All I had to do was boil the pasta for two minutes, heat the sauce, and ta-da! Here's my Pomodoro pasta. Look at this fresh pasta going in. Beautiful. Just two minutes. It's a really quick dinner. And then while that's going, I've got my Pomodoro sauce. Just warm that up. That easy. That is the fastest dinner I've ever made. Pasta's done, and you just put it directly into the sauce. Ooh. Let's mix everybody up. Now, Parmesan. All right, let's plate up some pasta. This looks so good and so fresh. That's what I love about it. A little extra cheese on top. Here we go, dinner is served. Mmm. That is good. I think all of us get to the point where we're burned out and we don't know what to make for dinner. These three restaurants are offering the perfect solution for a family meal delivered right to your door. Well, that does it for us. Thank you guys for being with us, and we'll see you next time. There's a cord in my tummy. What are you going to measure with your tape measure there? Nothing. Okay. All right, you can go play. More taquitos for me. Okay, bye.